I need one of those trucks. <laughs> That's right. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh boy, that's nice. Oh boy. His wet didn't do very much there for him. couple of feet that would be good actually tell me when to stop going that should be good yeah that's perfect Give us a little room for the doors. You're gonna have to drive forward towards your tree, eh? That's okay, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah, that should be good. tubes how's she hanging so you saw us pick up that container today weren't pretty good that guy was a pretty skilled driver that's for sure knew what he was doing had to yank it out and well you kind of seen what was going on there but anyways we got to do some work in it now because it was used for work we'll say 
and uh, it's getting dark of course out here so I got my uh, huge ass light here not huge ass huge jass j-a-s-s -S light huge ass light that uh, was sent to me by Mr. Hallbrook thank you Mr. Hallbrook this thing is freaking insane this is a parking lot light well I'm gonna stick it just temporarily up top there for now and shine it kind of down and it should uh, hopefully shine for us so let's get her set up here we'll get looking inside and like I say this thing was used for work <laughs> so it's pretty messy inside and I got to do a lot of cleaning okay so Hugh Jass light is temporarily installed hopefully that will work it is freaking bright I don't know if it's gonna shine into there too well but anyways uh, let's get uh, on a tripod here we'll get this door open show you what we're up against Alright, I already got those one side cracked. They still got piles of junk in here I gotta get rid of. Huh. Interesting. Well, you know, I'll tell you a story. This wasn't the container I was wanting. They had two of these identical, and the other one was the one I was wanting that was parked on the other side, but because it was jammed between another thing there and the way it was set up, the tow truck guy says, No, I can't get, uh, I can't. Pardon me, can't get in there to get that one out. So I'm like, well, I guess we'll take this one. And they had this one still full of stuff. So, uh, so I got some stuff to look through here, I guess. I'll put it outside and get it back to them, kind of thing. But uh, these uh, these handles are a lot different <coughs> than mine. Mine are like they both turn this way. Well, this one they go like this. They're weird. And they're, and they're really low too. I don't know why they're so low. I mean, I guess I got a welder, I could cut these off and put them up higher. <laughs> but you'd have to change all that stuff too. So. They're backwards, it's weird, I'm not used to that. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> so I got a bit of stuff to clean out of here and some of the stuff they might want back. It was just such a frantic thing, you know, that this was still full of stuff. So it's still full of stuff. Boy, boy, lots of stuff. Some of this I can probably just get rid of, but a box of chains or something there. Looks like some garbage. Nice pieces of wood. I don't know what's in this box, but it looks heavy. Ugh. That went up with the thing on the truck, too. I'm like, holy cow. But, uh, you know, like this kind of stuff, just they're not going to want towels back. Like, I'll probably just back my guy in there and then, you know, start loading stuff. Rotten old tarps, they're not going to likely want that. I doubt they'd want those back. Oh, and that's right under that box. <sighs> okay, well give me a couple minutes here. Some of this sorted out of here. And then we got to start cleaning. Okay, that's more better. We got all the junk out. <clears throat> I'll leave it, leave it for him in case he wants it. One box of stuff he might want, but oh boy, they had a, something parked in here. <clears throat> this is sure not as nice as my nice container with the nice shiny floors in it. Whoa. I see a hole back here that looks like it's been fixed. That's interesting. That's interesting. There were some really long pieces of wood in here that I... Uh, I'm focusing a lot of pieces of wood that were in here that I uh, threw up on the top for now. Anyways, I've got some <clears throat> tools to help me aid in cleaning this out, but I've got people behind me, so I can't use those tools right now. So I will have to resort to resort to the old push broom for now, because the other one will make a pile of dust. So. We'll do some fast time cleaning here. Let's get at her.
All right, that's got the worst of her. Uh, I'd like to get in there and pressure wash it too, but uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen or not because I'd have to get her jacked up on the end so she'd all run out the end, right? So basically get uh, the backhoe with the loader bucket on here, hook on to the, the bottoms, lift it up and put something underneath it and then rest it down again so I can get a slope to her, you know? But, uh, yeah, she's not a brand new container, that's for sure, but she's, uh, she should be all right. She'll be all right for what I'm doing with her. But it weighs 4,890 pounds, apparently, when it was built. I believe that's what that number there means. But anyways. Yeah, so, I had my, uh, brush and stuff here ready to go, but, uh, because of the peoples I got here, there's been a lot of dust, I would have to do a bit and then let it kind of... You know, it's pretty dusty in there. You gotta pour some water in and go at it with the paddle guy and sweep all the, the water out. I don't really know what I want to do, but um, boy, she's not as shiny clean as my other one, that's for sure. But anyways, that's all right. I might uh, actually leave the front where it's sitting there, really. So I like how much the door can open there and be away. And maybe drag this over about here somewhere. Pick this end up, try to, and drag it over to about here, wherever it seems to kind of square up a bit. Yeah, about there somewhere. Ish. Somewhere ish. And then it's not sort of jammed too much in there, right? So, well, there we go. We got more storage, but there's a bit I want to do in there before I start putting stuff into it. I'll have to build, oh, I got to get it over first. And then we have to build a little bit of a ramp with some some dirt or some of that so this gravel stuff I got some still left of that should be up on like wood or something but that's what I have my other one sitting on is basically just this stuff and it drains away pretty good so you're probably gonna get a little bit of you know vaporization but uh, yeah anyways so there's a start I'd like to get in there with the paddle guy at least or the the uh, this one here that'll loosen a bit of junk up and then paddle it. Just have to switch the things, right? But uh, I'll have to wait until maybe they're done with their fire. Have a nice fire. Yep. Did you bring marshmallows? Yeah. <gasps> oh, it's marsh it's marshmallow time. Mmm. Okay, let's wait till it gets dark and then we'll uh, fire up a huge ass light. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, Dilly's in the shed there. Um. No, not yet, not yet. Uh, Dilly's in the shed there. He's gonna turn that light off when I tell him to, and uh, when I ask him to. And then he's gonna plug in Hugh Jass. Huge, Hugh Jass light. Get that right. Not huge ass, it's Hugh Jass light. Okay, now it's not very high, mind you. It's just on the, on the roof of the uh, container. So it needs to go up probably another 10 feet, 15 anyways. <laughs> it's a parking lot light, this thing. Okay, Dill. So he's gonna shut that off. And is she dark? There's Hugh. Holy freaking crap. Lights up the whole bloody thing. So if that's up higher. Wow. That is a major, major light. That's gonna be awesome. Don't stare at it. No, don't stare at it. And that thing's only 100 watt. Can you believe that? 100 watt light bulb, basically. That is pretty darn good. That's definitely putting a lot more uh, light out than like a 100 watt light bulb would. So yeah, yeah. if that was, you know, another, you know, up, way up there somewhere in space kind of thing, maybe we'll light up the whole bloody yard, I think, here. So that's that's pretty awesome. But Now that is a, a dusk till dawn light. So I don't really want to be running at dusk till dawn. So what I do is probably put it inside on a timer, like, a, you know, those things you can... And you get, you know, 20, 30, 60, whatever minutes, and then it would click off when it was done. Because I really don't need a light on here all the time, so. Uh, but that is pretty awesome. Holy cow. But uh, anyways, I guess that's it for container work today. I'll have to uh, do some more when I don't have spectators looking here and getting dust and crap all over them. That's, that's not very nice. And uh, I'll maybe throw a couple of pails of water in there and then uh, scrub it around or something. And uh, I don't know. I, I got a hose I can stretch out and then... You know, we can wash it out too, maybe get some of the finer grit crap out of there. But anyways, there we go. That is it for Mr. Container for today. 
I will uh, reposition it. We'll get you in for that too, and uh, swing its uh, his other end, or I guess our end over, and um, I think that'll be good. It should work good. So then we got it cleaned out. Uh, I like to spray foam the roof in that too because I noticed it today it had moisture droplets on the roof and they do condense water unfortunately and it will drip on everything that you got inside now I don't have any problems with that other container I've never seen a drop of water come off the roof so that does actually work really well so once we get our uh, I'm gonna get one of the big 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 spray foam kits here eventually hopefully soon before it gets too cold and uh, I want to spray foam uh, Hopefully that, I don't know if it's going to go that far, but uh, I mean, I don't have to do the container this year. I can, I can just put tarps or something on. I got tarps, I got free tarps in the, the wheelbarrow there. Uh, put tarps on them and then uh, we will uh, put tarps on stuff there for now and then we'll do the, do the shed maybe. And then, and then I want to spray foam the little house for the generator too, get that position. Got a little bit of work I want to do with the back deck there on the house. Man, this is awesome. Look at it. It's like daytime. Daytime. Well, let's just turn on this guy too and see if we blow the fuse. Holy mother. That is really bright. <laughs> and it almost shines into this container. I think it probably will once I skitter over a little more there. It might be a little better, but it's still a little, little darkish in there. But. I mean, I'm not going to be in here all the time, though. This isn't going to be like a regular open thing. This is for off-season storage, and, you know, the mower and stuff will probably go in there and, and stuff. But, uh, wow, that light is freaking awesome. I can almost see space. But, uh, yeah, wow, that's really good. I can't believe it. And I say, like I say, if I got up another 15-odd feet higher, if I can get up that high on the ladder, boy, that's going to be awesome. But i got to find a pole that's, that's tall enough. But anyways... Pretty awesome. Ready, ready, ready. Oh, blinded by the light. And uh, boy, it's just like it's just like the movies. <laughs> Look how like sick and white and pale and stuff because it's so bright. But anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. Uh, we'll get you back for some more of this container work here and getting her more into position and stuff. And uh, get a little rampy built at them. And then uh, I got to do a bit more cleaning on the floor. I think. Although it's probably not bad, but I think I wanted to wash it a little more. I like to get my pressure washer in there. That would actually be really good. And I could. I could run a hose down from the house here. And then psh, maybe I will. I don't know. I won't probably film that though because there'll be crap all over the place. It's going to be a heck of a mess. But uh, anyways, let's see kind of in here how we did. I'm just going to... Whoops. Right. Get my other light going here. So it's not bad. It's, it's definitely a lot better than it was. But uh, the oily stuff here, I don't know... It's maybe, just maybe leave it. They must have had something up in the corner here, though. It's kind of leaked all out or whatever. But, uh, yeah. You know, and I could get some paint, too, if I wanted to. And I got a air-powered spray gun that I think that little compressor might keep up to. Spray the walls and stuff in here, but uh, I don't know. It's getting all blurry. It's too dark for filming. But, yeah, I do want to do some washing because I think right at this door here is uh, where they kept their skid of cement for doing their foundations and that was a uh, Shelburne monument place up there that uh, does all my monuments so so anyways there we go we're working on her hopefully get her done and ready before the winter comes we'll catch you all later you guys have a good day and thanks again for watching Ooh, get on her bud oh, settle down